I've been waiting for you. What is the significance of Yugi and Ko? Throughout the gang, there's really only two people that were significant to the main story. Yugi and Tim is going to get discluded simply because he's the main character. We don't really need to talk about them. Anyways, the first being Joey or Junochi. He, in my opinion, has the best role for a side character in a sense. Junochi's story, in my opinion, rivals a Tim's and Yugi's, and he could possibly be the main character. I'm going to cover a video about this soon on my channel, so stay tuned for that. But the other being Bakora simply because of Dark Bakora and his major involvement in Dark Side of Dimensions. I would imagine most of us agree that Taya, Trishan, Duke in the anime play no vital role to the story. Taya, Trishan, Duke just cheer. That's very much the general consensus for the gang. Well, what if I told you I disagree and here's why. Yugi and Ko help out a lot. Even though Trishan, Taya, and Duke Devlin don't have a role like Joey and Yugi, they still help out just as much. In certain events in Duel Monsters, when watching the subversion of Duel Monsters, I started to analyze the show and I will do that for every Yu-Gi-Oh show. I was watching Battle City and now I'm on the Noah arc, but while watching Battle City, I started to notice things that I never noticed when watching Yu-Gi-Oh as an average viewer. There's so much detail why Yugi's friends are important and they don't just scream and be annoying. Now I'm not gonna lie, I do sometimes find them annoying, but I'm starting to get fond of the repetition of this action they do every single episode. During Junochi's duel against Rashid or Odeon, Odeon at the current time was going by the name of Merrick. Yugi and Ko are scared for Joey because they know that Merrick has the third and final god card, the winged dragon of Raw, which happens to be the strongest. One thing I will say about this duel is that it's the best I've seen so far in Duel Monsters. The fact that Odeon has this temple card that can summon Raw, and the main reason why I say it's the best duel in Yu-Gi-Oh so far is how Odeon summoned Raw. He sacrificed all the cards that Joey won from the Ant ruling in Battle City. Not only that, when Joey summoned those cards, he thought of what these cards carried. For example, Mako Tsunami. Mako got this card from his father and he gave it to Joey because he won fair and square, and Joey states that he will take care of this card. And Rashid summoning Raw from using Mako Tsunami's card that Junochi won from Battle City takes away from that promise that Joey made. Anyways, Rashid had a fake raw card. He summons raw and it didn't work because that raw card was fake. In addition to that, the real winged dragon of raw got mad and started pouring upon his anger in the duel arena. Lightning starts striking the field. Both Junochi and Rashid get striked by lightning and the first one to get up wins the duel. Rashid was about to get up but fell on the floor and what happens is that when Rashid falls, Dark Merrick will arise. Joey has a dream about him being in a classroom with his friends such as Yugi, Mai, Taya, Trishan, and Bakura and they all talk to him and help him up. The scene is easily within my top 5 favorite moments in Yu-Gi-Oh, but the reason why he won that duel was because he got up due to the help of his friends, even though he was at the point of defeat. The friendship really resonated and helped him through that. And this happens several times throughout Duel Monsters as well. For example, the Pegasus Duel. Pegasus has the ability to read the opponent's mind, but since a Tim and Yugi were doing the mind swap technique, it didn't work. But as time went on and Yugi became weak, the plan didn't work, so a Tim literally thought of his friends and they blocked it. In addition to that, the friendship symbol in episode 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh titled The Heart of the Cards, a Tim was about to go to defeat. He was afraid of summoning and drawing that final piece of Exodia, even though he most likely knew it was the final piece. He thought of his friends and the friendship symbol and that guided him to victory. But to wrap this video up is the significance of Yugi and Ko is that when anyone in Yugi's friend group is down, that their annoying constant shouting will pick them up and give them the victory. So thank you guys for watching, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh content, and comment down below what you guys want to see next for the channel.